Welcome back to Newswatch, folks. These are the four regimes we typically have in the winter across North America. This was the forecast seven days ago. It looked like the Greenland High was going to dominate through the early part of March, and that typically brings somewhat colder weather and a prospect for a couple of snowstorms across the region. Now, let's fast forward because this was the forecast from seven days ago and watch what has happened. The Greenland High is quickly starting to dissipate and what we're seeing is the emergence of what's called the Pacific Ridge pattern from about the 24th, 25th of February through the early part of March. That's becoming the dominant pattern and what that means for our area is we are going to end the month of February with very warm temperatures. We had a gorgeous day in Oak Hill. Louise sent this photo. The sky was blue. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. We are not tracking any rain or snow across our region. We are tracking the next storm system here in the upper Mississippi Valley. This will follow the jet stream farther south into our region. Band of rain, but we are going to see an increase in the winds. Also, see these warm colors? This is the temperature change over the last 24 hours, and this warmth is heading in our direction ahead of the storm system. 67 in Oklahoma City, 64 in Kansas City. This rush of warm air will be in here tomorrow, but we have a definitive cold front. You can see 49 in Denver, 32 in Fargo. So this front will bring a change in the air mass. Also, the winds are starting to increase out of the south, gust 25 to 30 miles an hour across the Midwest. So as the storm moves east, we will see that pressure gradient build and we are going to have the wind tomorrow evening. 36 in Marlington, 45 in Lewisburg, 48 in Pipestem. You can see which areas still have a little bit of snowpack on the ground. That snowpack does radiate the heat a bit, so it's colder in the western Greenbrier Valley and western Pocahontas County. Temperatures tomorrow start out near 30. We will hit 59 to 60 degrees tomorrow afternoon. The gusts really pick up after 3 o'clock. We are looking for the peak gusts between 4 and 9 o'clock in the evening. About 43 miles an hour, the western Greenbrier Valley, that's where the strongest winds will be. Otherwise, we're going to see gusts very close to 40 miles an hour along the Route 19 corridor. Yes, there will be sporadic power outages. Not the same magnitude of wind, though, that we had in the middle of January when that one system came through and produced lots of damage. Here's our weekend storm. We have high pressure that will move in initially behind this front, and then this storm is going to race across the country, and that will be our weather maker late Friday into early Saturday. So we have a dry day tomorrow until the front comes through between 5 and 9 o'clock, a band of some briefly heavy rain and of course the gust with it. In the wake of that, it'll be quiet on Friday. Then Friday night, Saturday morning, the second, second system moves through, start out as a little bit of rain, then change to a little bit of snow on the back side of it. We will have some accumulation. And then guess what? We start to warm up during the early part of the week. Here's a snowfall forecast for late Friday into early Saturday quarter to a half of an inch for most of the area west of 19 and also the Greenbrier Valley. We should see half an inch to an inch and a half along the Route 19 corridor, three to four inches in the higher elevations of the western Greenbrier Valley and western Pocahontas County. Now we will feel the pressure change. If you have aches and pains, you will feel it Thursday night, you will feel it late Friday, and then starts to stabilize next week. Seven day forecast then in writing, temperatures tomorrow in the upper 50s, enjoy it. Yes, we will have that breeze blowing out of the southwest. 45 degrees on Friday, rain after eight o'clock changes to snow. Snow ends by 9 a.m. Saturday, so we're done with the storm by 9 a.m. Saturday. And then we have a pretty nice day. You know, this weekend is President's Day weekend and the schools I believe have off on Monday, so seasonable and breezy. Warmer trend on Tuesday. And Wednesday, we're back into the mid-50s with a couple of sprinkles. All right, so it looks like we're going to slightly warm up just a little bit towards the end of the week. Yeah, so tomorrow's temperature will be comparable to next Wednesday. It's amazing. <laughs> 59. It it's will really feel nice, nice and warm yeah. tomorrow. Maybe a little bit of a wind chill with the wind, but the good news is it's going to be sunny yeah, until that's... that front comes through in the mm -hmm. evening. So with the sunshine this time of the year, you'll really feel the warmth, even if it is a bit windy. And it's not going to be a cold wind. It'll be a warm wind. Yes. That's good sure. to hear.